D P S Terrell Baker Production Studio. All right, I am here in a good mood in my right sound of mind. All right, starting the new year off with a good positive attitude and an outlook. So, and uh, hopefully you, hopefully you all are as well. So please, when you come. If you're here to watch the archive show, or if you're here working clearly, leave your shit stirring at home, all right? And uh, that's just my two cents for 2024, all right? There you go. Now, I just do want to say a happy belated Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We appreciate you, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We enjoyed watching the first ever Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade in the United States of America, which was held in Miami, Florida. Liberty City. I found that very shocking that nowhere has ever held a Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade. I'm surprised that New York City doesn't have a Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade. With all the parades that they do, there was not one for Martin Luther King Jr. Shocking. It says a lot about what's the current situation in the United States. With that said, positive 2024. Happy New Year. I <laughs> I'm not here to shit stir, so please don't look. Don't, please do not shit stir with me, because I'm not the one. All right, positive, positivity. There we go. I know. <laughs> Happy New Year. physical condition, but you are here, 
So be appreciative, because that's what I'm doing. I made it to 46, my birthday was January the 14th, and I didn't even stay up until midnight to wait for it. I was in the bed by like, what, 10.30? Because <laughs> I work hard, and yeah, I don't do that party and stuff late to the wee hours of the night. I got that out of my system when I was much younger, but um, unless I'm booked to perform somewhere until 4 a.m., I will be at home in my safe space by midnight. So with that said, I made it to 46 and I'm very grateful. Now I have my good and my bad days, you know, a little tired, overworked, mentally exhausted, etc. Folks piss you off. It's like, whatever, it's not your own world to realm, literally. And so I put that back out to the universe. Respect each other, folks. With that said, be on the lookout for the Rise Above It All album coming out in 2024 in the spring, just before Pride Month. Yes, because I can promote it during Pride Month, as well as all the other albums that Torobing Production Studios has out. So, be on the lookout for that. The Rise Above It All album. This is my quest. This is my quest I'm gonna rest Until I achieve All that I want This is my quest I'm gonna Yeah, it's wrong. 
This is my quest. That song is an original song that was um, released on the I'm Here to Lift You Up album. Yes, I haven't sung that in a while, so, and I did not listen to it to make sure that I knew the lyrics. I, I just remember the lyrics, which is good. But I write a lot of songs, so at some point I will forget them all. Uh, you know, well, all, I mean, literally, if I live long enough. <laughs> but um, while I'm still performing, will you all buy tickets? to come and see live in person shows or bookings, private events, etc. The, the uh, what do you call those things again? The uh, music festivals will all be starting to kick off in the March. So you may see me out there at one of those music festivals out in the 120 degree heat, dying. <laughs> you know, but with, it said, with that said, I'm here and willing and able, but down the road someone else will be performing the works, hopefully to keep it alive, the music alive, all right? Like they do at Disney. Hire some performers and you all can get your tickets and go in and have a good old time. Coming up next. Is peace all over. Is <laughs> peace all over the world. We will be alright 
to know what goes on outside of your own worlds, particularly if you're gonna be traveling to other parts of the world to work, when you need work visas, because they gotta approve you coming into their country to work, to make money, and to uh, you know, entertain their citizens. So with that said, I'm very aware of where I go. And I know my rights as a man, as a black man, as a gay man. So be aware of what you're doing and where you're going, folks. Doesn't matter what you are, gay, straight, bi, religious, non-religious, man, woman, discrimination still exists. So watch your backs and be careful. With that said, coming up next is I Get Joy. I want to thank you all for being here. To show you how much I appreciate you, I wrote this song for you. You all got jokes. I get joy when I'm with you. So much joy when I'm with you. You bring me home. I don't know what to do. You know how to lift me to a place where dreams come true. I can't stop that. So much joy when I'm with you. Studios and my vocal rehearsal will officially be on Wednesdays. Um, yeah, so there you go. And then it will be edited and posted to the Troy Baker Productions Studios YouTube channel so you all can watch it and um, so you know what's going on, all right? Because not everybody's on Instagram and TikTok 
and I, everyone will see me walking down the street and be like, so Terrell, what's good? What's going on? You know? <laughs> so with that said, you can get all the information there. And I hope we will see you at some show or some event. All right, I'll make sure I check my attitude and I'm in a good mood, all right? Because people be like, well, your attitude stink and we ain't buying nothing or supporting anything that you do because you need to check yourself. So keep that in mind, entrepreneurs. All right, coming up next. It's Jumbo Boy. If you want it, come and get it. Don't be afraid, jump upon it. If you want it, come and get it. If you want it, come and get it. Don't be afraid, jump upon it. If you want it, come and get it. Sometimes you just can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta jump up on it yourselves. All right? Now, I want to uh, say that if you all would like to know, again, upcoming shows, events, etc., releases, terrellbaker.com, two R's, two L's. That is T-E-R-R-E-L-L-B-A-K-E-R.com. It's a great, secure website with valuable information on there for you all. All right? Anything and everything. So as we become more and more popular, whatever gossip, shit stirring you may hear out and about, we will address it on the website and be like, yeah, no, that ain't right, that ain't true. All right, so with that said, now, um, I would like to shout out to Mr. Paul Williams. He's the current ASCAP president and chairman on the board, the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. So we got the New Year's message letter. Thank you so much, appreciate it. And we're gonna go right to the next song, which is titled,
Major Joy Davis. Dear, dear, dear. Dear, dear, dear. Dear, dear, dear. Dear, dear, dear. So they'd be like, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And they'd be packed in like sardines. So shout out to all you folks out there who get to go and experience those festivals. Back in the day, there was Woodstock. You know, that was the only one. Way back in the day, that was upstate New York. Now they have so many all over the world. All right, so enjoy. Enjoy your youth. Enjoy and create lots of memories. Because when you're old and gray and everything starts falling apart, it's gonna be too late to be like, I wish I shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> so, get those cameras out, videotape, record, so you can have some stuff to flip through and look through. All right, and go, well, this is what I did, and I remember that, or oh, I don't. But I guess I had fun. I looked like I did. All right, <laughs> so with that, said, with that said, we're gonna also, too, I want to congratulate Denmark on their newly crowned king and queen. So congrats to you all, the Denmark they uh, are fans of my music and because I've seen the streams and the sales over there, so thank you, I do appreciate you. All right, and also just want to shout out to Mr. Lil Nas X, I know folks is coming for you, but you know, I don't know why they're wasting their time dragging you and shit storm with you. They're just, some folks are saying he's desperate looking for attention. Sounds to me like you're desperate looking for attention too, talking about him, wanting folks to watch your YouTube channel and your little TikTok or your Instagram. 
So with that said, Lil Nas got his executive protection uh, security in place for those who really want to try and show up at his door. So <laughs> Madonna, same to her. They came for her many years ago. Her like a prayer with, you know, the black Jesus up there. And it was very erotic. So she's still here doing her thing and haters are calling her old and grandma. She needs to sit down and do whatever. Look, you do you and let Madonna do her with her kids and her crew and uh, have fun and enjoy her life. Again, why are you wasting your time talking about Madonna if you're not a fan? You're looking desperate. With that said, hold on tight for the Major Joy album. Louise Chaconi, who is 65, and she is out there touring 
again restarted her celebration tour. Some of her greatest hits and some of the songs that most folks may not know unless you're a real diehard fan. All right, as some folks go, this may be her final tour of her career. They're hoping it's not, but they're grateful that she's still alive and doing it. All right, and people don't know why they be dragging her because calling her old and 65. Miss Tina Turner was 69 and she was out there doing it. And she was selling sex too, honey. She was out there doing it. So people don't know why they didn't come for Miss Tina Turner. But for some reason, people just like to drag Madonna. It is what it is. With that said, Like a Prayer, my remake, remixed version of Madonna Louise Ciccone's song that she wrote with Patrick Leonard. All right, I had to take a breather. All right. that day when I produced that track, because it was very, very fast. 
Yeah, so don't do drugs and don't snore anything or smoke anything or drink and all that stuff. But for those of you who do, do you live your lives. I'm not here to dictate, tell you how to live your life. Do you? All right, it's your life to live. So as my grandmother said before she passed, she said, you only have one life to live, so enjoy it. So with that said, that's what I'm doing. Now, um, I want to shout out to uh, the Consumer Electronics Show, which was recently held in Las Vegas. Now, we love some electronics here at Troy Baker Productive Studios because a lot of electronics is used. So shout out to the Electronics Show. All right. And uh, Las Vegas, speaking of Las Vegas, it was held in Las Vegas. They're getting ready for the Super Bowl. So looking forward to seeing what Mr. Usher Raymond, singer-songwriter, has in store. All right. So what else was I wanted to talk about before I go on to the next song? Also, too, I want to congrats to the singer-songwriter, writer, Mr. Blake Shelton, uh, for opening his new uh, Old Red Country Western venue in Las Vegas. All right, I like Brooke Shelton. I always liked him back when he was on The Voice. You know, he seemed very down to earth. I don't know him personally, never worked with him, but he seems very down to earth, all right? Because when you get super rich and famous, sometimes it can go to your head. But he seems like a real down to earth country boy. <laughs> well, well, not really down, down to earth. It, well, let's keep it real, but you know what I mean, folks. Because <laughs> when you're super rich and famous, it's hard to be really down to earth. Cause you live in a different universe than the rest of the folks. With that said, let your light shine. Fancy, sing the hook. Let your light shine bright in the darkest. Let the light bring joy into your life. Let your light shine bright in the darkest. Let the light bring joy into your life. Let your light shine in the darkest. No matter what you're going through. Always let your light shine in the darkness. Let the light 
bring joy into your life. Let your light shine bright in the darkness. Let the light bring joy into your life. Yes, let your light shine bright in the darkness. All right. Now I want to uh, shout out the fam and my crew before I sing the final song. Well, there's two more songs. All right, partner of 24 years, Steve, nephew Quan, nephew Ricardo, great nephew Devon, great nephew Sebastian, great nephew Carmoney, niece Jasmine, niece Central, Aunt Beverly, cousin Deanna, cousin Donza, cousin Tasia, cousin Amherst, cousin Tia, cousin Jamal, cousin Anthony, uh, their kids, grandfather Curtis, uncle Sean, uncle Brian, uncle Mark, I love Kim and to those whom I have a strange relationships with, all right? Sometimes your relationships that you had that were great, close with folks, they just grow distant because you find that these folks are uh, using you and abusing you in a variety of different ways, whether it's uh, emotionally, mentally, or financially. And if it's physically, well, that's a whole other situation. But uh, yes, shout out to the fans. All right, terrellbaker.com, two R's, two L's, sponsorship requests, bookings, collaborations. Um, et cetera, et cetera. Again, be on the lookout for the Rise Above It All album, 10 original songs that I'm really excited and looking forward to. This is the Rise Above It All album, Wardrobe. Yes, the hot uh, red that I'm wearing and the, yes, the military hat and my pouch and my gauntlets. All right? And of course, you keep the black trousers and all that good stuff. All right, nice, bright, colorful, but yet very confident. So rise above the negativity and uh, just pay folks that don't fancy you that much no mind. All right, just live your lives and there you go. But be respectful. Oh, you don't have to say you love me. We're gonna sing that first. When I said I needed you, you said you would always stay. It wasn't me who changed for you, and now you are away. I hope you're happy wherever you are. Don't you see that now?
ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Thank you all so much. Remember to let no one keep you from joy and happiness. Have a great 2024 and beyond. Can nobody keep us apart? We were meant to be together. Yes, we were. So let's create this memorable moment together.